Hey everybody, I'm not real sure how well this is going to work because I'm doing this with my phone and trying to watch the computer and everything, but what I've got is this is Google Earth Pro. If you've used regular Google Earth, that's great. Maybe you're using it to try and find fishing spots. We're going to bring up, obviously everybody's using the avionics, but as an example, I'm on my, I'm at home here, so I'm zooming in to, we'll say, the same place that we're going to be looking at on the other maps. So, just for frame of reference, everything looks pretty close to the same. Here's Briar Lake Island. They say uh, Waltz Beach here. Um, also, Lakefront Park. Now we'll jump over to Pro. Looks very much the same. Now the cool thing with Pro, if you're using this to find fishing places, is you can back this up. This shows, I don't know how well you can see it, 2018 all the way back to 91. And we can back this thing up and we can watch drought years and all kinds of things. So we'll just for fun, we'll back it up a ways. We'll go back down to... Well, here we'll go with six. And not much changed. We can go all the way back. And this is more important if you're looking at rivers and things. High water or if you're looking at uh, reservoirs, that kind of thing. But I'm not worried about that at the moment. I'm just going to show you guys what I have found with getting making a waypoint on Google Earth and then putting it on your in this case it's a Garmin but you can do it with a Hummingbird or Lawrence as well so what I've been doing we'll go back over here to Navionics is I overlay so I'm looking at my various structures and things here whatever I want to see on the map so for this, because let's be honest, we're all fishermen here. I'm not going to make a waypoint for everybody to see. But what you can do is, I've already done this just to make it easier for the video. I put my mouse on that little deal. Alt-Tab. And you can, well, I bumped my mouse. You can see my mouse is right on it. So I've already got an indication. All right, I'm right there. And I'm right there. All right, well, I shifted the map a little bit. So we'll just give it a little move. All right, so that's there. We're within a few feet, right? We're going to call that a few feet. Just for fun, we'll check a second point. I'm going to move it up to the island. Kind of triangulate things here. Make sure I'm, I'm pretty close. And we're still off a little bit, so we'll just move this down just a touch. Put it on the island. Now we're pretty close to the island. We might The zooms don't exactly line up, so you're not going to be exact. But let's be honest, this is going to get you to a close point. Then you can use your depth finder to find the actual point. So... All I'm going to do for this one is, is all right, we got, we know this is Lakefront Park and the docks. So I'm going to bounce back over to Google Earth. Come over here. You right click. You're going to add folder. In this case, I'm calling it Prior Lake. And now you can go add place mark. We're going to just slide this out of the way a little bit. And there's your place mark. Set it where you want it. Call it what you want it. I'm going to call this Lake Front Docks. Pretty simple. That way I know what they are when I put it on my on my depth finder. Pretty simple. 
You can do this for your whole lake, find all your different stuff. You wanted to say, oh, this is a bedding area. You could go add another place mark. I'll do it just for fun because they're easy. We're going to go put it back up here. Call it possible beds. Okay. So now... We're going to come over here. We're going to right click on it. We're going to go save place as. You're going to change this to a KML. Leave it as prior lake. I move it to my desktop so it's easy to find. Hit save. Now we're going to switch back to the, over here. Again, I've already found this website. I just Googled it. Happened to be the first one. We're going to go home here because I just did one. And learn more. Oops. Free. Uh, shoot. We're going to pause. All right. So I found that website again. It's KML to GPX converter. Just Google it. Pops right up. So then you got, you can browse to find your files now. Right here, there's our prior lake. You can see it. Drag and drop. Then it says you're gonna have to add files, but you're ready on your desktop, so that's nice and easy. Just click it here. We're gonna find where did prior lake go? Of course, it's not in alphabetical order, so it takes me a second here. There it is, prior lake, KML. We're gonna go open. Continue, output format, it's GPX, and then right over here it says convert now. And it even shows you on a map. So it's kind of nice to see that everything is overlaying properly. So you hit convert now, it processes, you hit download. Now it does go to your download folder and it changes it to a GPX. So I'm just gonna go cut. I'm just gonna paste it here. So there it is, Prior Lake GPX. Easy enough, right? Anybody can do that. So then you need one of these with the little chip in it. As you can see there where my thumb is. My computer, it happens to be down here. Kind of a pain to get to. And that pops up. Now you can see I already was working with the whitefish chain there. So, you just put it on there. Easy enough. Make sure you eject it properly. Save to remove. This is a lot harder to do with one hand. So then you take your little SD chip out. I'm going to put it in my unit here. Mine just goes in there and start it. Now your unit may be different than mine and how you go about this, but regardless, it'll be similar. Everything I've read said put the chip in before you boot the unit, so that's what I'm doing. And the longest time really gets is going through and and selecting your waypoints and things. So just for fun, we're gonna go select charts, fishing, I gotta back way up here, because I'm way up north. Wait for this to 
Bloomington, hey, I made a good guess. We're getting close. Johnson Memorial Drive. This thing wasn't even fully booted yet, so I'm trying to go faster than the tools I have. So here we are, zooming in on Prior Lake. Now I've set up my colors and things different than you guys might. So, you got nothing here. WDs are showing up. That's different waypoints that were already in there. But So none of these, you can see I don't have anything marked on there yet. So we're going to go back. Mine, we're going to go settings. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this. I believe it was system. Let's see if I can remember this. That's right. It's not in settings. We're going to go back. On mine, you go charts, select. You go menu, waypoints and tracks. Get the glare out of there. Select. Waypoints. You can see the other ones that I've punched in. But you go to, let's see here. Enter coordinates. You got all these different things that you can do. All right, so I paused there because I lost track of where I was at. Mine is user data. Then you've got manage data. Then you can go data transfer. Merge from card. You can select a file or you can do all files. In this case, I'm just going to select one. We got, there it is. Prior Lake. Transferred. Back. So now we'll go charts. I'm going to back up here because it puts me at my house. And we're going to figure out which way it has me facing at the moment because, well, quite frankly, I'm not facing the right direction. Up is not north. <laughs> now it is. I've zoomed out far enough. And we're going to zoom in. Ooh, we're way too far. And here we are. Remember I put it in, typed in, I didn't even type it in right, but there it is. Possible and lakefront. There they are. That simple. Like I say, you might have to fumble around, around like I did trying to find the, uh, the proper setting on your unit to get this to load. But there it is. It works that easy. You can just cruise around on your Google Earth Pro and pick your different places that you wanna you wanna have. You know, if you want to do something over here, something over there, there's a little island there, or a little point, whatever you want to do, that's all up to you. Then you save them here, or you can delete them. I'm gonna get rid of this one because. I know it's not worth it, but anyways, like I said, you go through there, find your places, cross-reference with your Navionics on, your, on the screen here, works really slick, transfer your waypoints, boom, you can get close. I would imagine that these points that I have built on the other lakes are probably within 15 feet, so... Anyway, there you go, guys. Hopefully that helps you.